it has been officially solved. But at the point, at that particular time, in real time, uh, no one knew what was going on. No one knew that there were two sets of envelopes. Yeah. So, you know, let's, let's talk about that. On each side of the stage. Um, uh, and on each side of the stage. And that was still news to me. It was like, really? That's interesting. I've hosted many award shows. You know, we've only had one set of envelopes. And, and so that was news. Um, Emma Stone uh, was, was talking about how when she won her Oscar, she was holding her envelope that had her name on it. So as we're watching this, as she's doing the interview backstage, and she says, I don't, I don't know what uh, Buddy was talking about because I was holding the envelope in my hand that had my name on it. And, you know, you don't see the bait and switch. You don't see that. So it, it was, it was it, you know, I'm, I'm, doing my, I'm doing my best Detective Kevin Bernard law and order investigative, <laughs> you know, thing. And I'm like, hey, man, you heard her say she had the envelope, so how could he say he had it? So what's going on with that? You know, you don't make a mistake like that. Uh, but, you know, it was cleared up uh, later that evening and, and the next day that there are two sets of, um, there are two sets of envelopes on either side of the stage. Uh, one of uh, the officials uh, from Price Waterhouse was texting on his phone and forgot to pull that, that, that envelope out before uh, the, the last envelope was given. Texting like, watch this, I'm going to give it to Lala <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> and, and unfortunately, the young lady that was working with him on the other side of the stage, they both lost, they both lost their jobs. They both were fired from the company because of, his, because of what he was doing. You know, so that that was unfortunate for for the other person, but they came as a two man team, and uh, you know, and it caused a lot of controversy. I mean, you know, and it cost, you know, uh, the, the 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 cast and the directors and the producers of Moonlight, it cost them their celebratory experience, you know, uh, and it all a weird moment. It was it, like, it was with, with I think without intention, it became a symbolic mo more of a symbolic moment than needed than symbolic needed to how. Be. Well, I mean, in the sense that everything got incredibly politicized leading up to the Oscars because of La La Land and Moonlight. I love, I love Moonlight more so than La La Land, personally speaking. But it was this weird thing where it was like, oh, we could only give it to Moonlight by taking it away from La La Land okay. in front of the audience. That was the kind of symbol. Not intentional at all, but right. there was a feeling of that. Yeah. Even in the, say, the way that you say they didn't get the chance to... Yeah. And, it's, and it's, un it's unfortunate because no one wins in that. I mean, you know, you have the excitement of the, uh, the, excitement of the cast and, and, and the crew and producers of La La Land thinking they've won this, you know, prestigious award for movie handled of the year. Handled it very well. Yeah, yeah, handled it, uh, yes. Handled it better than, than uh, the Academy handled the mistake. And um, and then it having it having them realize in all of their elation and excitement that hold on we did not win this this is not our award you know so let's give the award to you know the the right party and and you know it's unfortunate for them but it's also unfortunate for uh, you know the cast and crew and producers of Moonlight A another great movie it's like ah uh, okay they won yay. <laughs> You know, they don't get the, you know, they don't get the pomp and circumstance and standing ovation and, and, you know, the confetti falling and all of that. It's just like, oh, we made a mistake. Here, here's your, here's your award. And Jimmy Kimmel coming out and being like, it's just an award show, yeah, guys. It's yeah, like, you know. I know you're trying to cover your ass now, but that's not what it feels like. Exactly. To, yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, but, you know, it's, it's, it, look, it, it's, it's real time TV. It's what happened. And, and we all do what we have to do in the moment. Good, bad, or indifferent. I loved watching your conspiracy theories. That, oh, that, I loved, that I loved it too. Saying. I loved it because I was going to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> you know, and like I said that night, you know, it's not the first time that Warren Beatty has screamed out the wrong name. <laughs>